Mount Panorama. Even in virtual mode, it's one of the most imposing and amazing places in Australian motorsport. Let's go inside the E-Series with thanks to NTI and jump on board the yellow cover Matstone Racing ZB Holden Commodore driven by Gary Jacobson for a lap of the 6.213 kilometre Mount Panorama circuit. Hell Corner is turn one. And then the long run up mountain straight to almost 260 k's an hour. Mount Panorama Vineyard is on your left and then you're breaking uphill into Griffin's Bend. Named after the former mayor of Bathurst called Martin Griffin, who had the vision for this circuit in the first place. That guy was a legend. Up the hill, the road funnels, it's steep and you're heading into the cutting. Second gear here at the middle of the corner and on the exit, a one in six gradient that climbs you up the hill towards Reed Park. Flowing the car in fourth gear, Frog Hollow on driver's right and then to the famous metal grate and Solman Park. You're heading towards McPhillamy Park and the famous Walter J. McPhillamy Gates, named after a man who owned most of this place before it became a racetrack. Off Brock's skyline and down through the S's to the famous Dipper. Traction critical here, there's overtaking potential coming your way. You run down the hill, through the left and right to Forest's elbow. This is critical. Power down past where Dick Johnson found the trees in 83 and on to Conrod Strait. 1.9 kilometres of flat out blast down the hill back towards the city of Bathurst. 297 k's an hour on the rev limiter through the fastest corner in Australian motorsport. It's the chase. Overtaking potential up the hill into the left-hander. Quick change of direction takes them downhill to Murray's, past the National Motor Racing Museum on the driver's right to complete the best lap in the sport. There's nothing like a supercar at Mount Panorama, whether it's in the real world or on iRacing. <laughs>